Alright, welcome back guys, my name is D, and today we're gonna play some Ragnarok Online. So we currently have the time for um Moonlight Flower Dracula. And we're trying to find the others. Um I'm trying I'm going up to Geffen and Tower. Well going down to kill a uh, doppelganger. So let's go. Alright, so just some few announcements. Um, if you haven't noticed, um, I've reduced the posting of videos to three a week. The reason for that is I actually <laughs> landed a new job. So it's gonna be a little hectic to uh, continue to upload those five, vid uh, seven videos a day, seven videos a, a week. So, oh no, we forgot the mana potions we have. Oh no, we gotta go back. Anyway, so yeah, uh, we're gonna upload. Uh, we're gonna upload three times a week. Hopefully, we can do like two Ragnarok Online videos, then uh, um, one random video. Could be Eternal, could be uh, Dota 2, uh, whatever I can actually record in the free in my free time. So yeah, and a quick update on the video. So quality is gonna go up because I actually landed, um, let's say a uh, subscription for Creative Cloud, Adobe Creative Cloud. If you guys don't know, that's basically a whole suite of softwares for design. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually a graduate of new media design. So anything to do with um, online media, uh, from videos, anything to do with the internet, graphic design on here, I can actually do. So instead of before where I just had Photoshop, and photo, uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. I have the full suite. So I have After Effects, I have Premiere Pro. We can do some sound uh, stuff too once we once we uh, like catch up on tutor tutorials on that. So the, uh, the quality is gonna go up, hopefully. Um, gonna start that in the next few weeks. Just have to load up the softwares on my PC and yeah, so it's basically gonna go down from three videos, uh, from seven videos a week to three, but the quality is gonna go up. So we're gonna start to create uh, different kind of guides. So aside from builds, we're gonna do like leveling guides, um, equipment guides, and maybe some quest guides. Quest guides too, if you guys want. So let me get my stuff. I'm wasting my bubble gum here. So let me just grab my stuff real quick. All right. I actually leveled up some of my characters uh, over the weekend. So we're gonna trans. We're gonna turn those into trans classes. And then those are, that's mainly my plan. I'm gonna do like leveling guides since I have a knight. I have a, a monk. I have a assassin, I have a sage. We're gonna do leveling guides for all those classes. So tune in for that. All right, so doppelganger, let me just do a quick guide on doppelganger. So doppelganger is a demon shadow property, I believe. Shadow property monster. And in order to kill him, you're gonna need Aspershell. Turn your attacks to holy property. Okay, we just got stardust. Let's turn off no control. Just want to clear this area because this is where we're gonna kill him. And doppelganger has basically two phases. Shit. <laughs> he has two phases. So once he reaches a certain amount of um, of HP, he's gonna do two hand quicken. And that's basically the hardest, uh, uh, it's gonna be hard to kill him then. So you wanna equip um, cards like uh, GR card, this is the, this is the phase he, he turns to. 
20 hits low HP. So basically in order to kill him you have to um, equip neutral resisting gear. So these are GR, uh, Deviling card. I know it's, it's kind of hard to get but that's a way you can kill him. And for your shield, you just want to go Royal Guard if you want, or you can go with a Kalitzburg. Watch out for that 2N Quicken second phase, because that's where most people have a hard time killing. Alright, so that's done. Let's see. Let's take down the time for that. Right, so we have Moonlight Flower in a bit, and Dracula. So let's check on Orc Hero, because I was um, trying to find him earlier, I wasn't able to. Hopefully he's up by now. But yeah, so as you can see, this guy is 99 already. I leveled him uh, in Thor's Volcano over the weekend, and I'm going to make a guide on how to level up on Thor's Volcano using a Star Gladiator so that's gotta be good so if you guys don't know uh, that's pretty much um, the quickest way to level well leech yourself it's in uh, Thor's Volcano you just have to know the proper setup and how to actually uh, get the Star Gladiator Miracle um, status. So yeah. And quick updates on PRO. So it looks like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing. Um, since my old guild bits box is gonna play, I'm pretty much gonna be motivated to play too. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna make my own guild and ally up with them or uh, just uh, make a PVM guild for the community, for the community of YouTube, for you guys on Facebook too. Uh, we'll see. It depends on my um, connection to a PRO. Uh, if it's kind of laggy, then I might be limited until I can actually get a good VPN. I don't want to play if it's like really laggy but yeah we'll see if the connection is uh, really good then we'll probably make our own guild and then ally up with them so yeah pretty excited about that and if you guys are playing play on PRO Thor because that's where I'm gonna be playing. If you guys wanna play with me and wanna grow the community there, yep. Play on PRO Thor. So, yeah. So, for the server settings on that server, um, as far as I know, they're saying it's kinda like a Revlo classic server. I don't know what that means. I didn't really watch the press con. Uh, basically just got snippets from Facebook and from some other links. So as far as I know, uh, it's gonna be um, all class, well, all first classes will be released. So this includes Swordsman, Thief, uh, Mage, Acolyte, uh, Merchant, what else? And of course, the second jobs for those uh, characters and their alternate jobs too. So that's kind of good because um, I think it's kind of the way how Classic started this server. So hopefully um, it stays Classic um, for like a couple of years because that's where, honestly that's where the fun is. Because nothing, well, <laughs> almost everything is like killable. But yeah, uh, we'll see. I'm pretty excited, but open beta is in 
uh, June so I'm assuming it's gonna be like one or two months after so June July August probably be up by August and yeah we can play I'm not gonna play in the open beta cuz um, I don't really want to why spoil the the fun uh, I don't think there's any like a uh, any additional knowledge that I can actually attain from doing the open beta because I pretty much um, know where to level, where to get the equips and I don't think they're gonna change anything from the classic um, monster spawns or any like anything like game breaking we're pretty much gonna test like um, you're gonna stress test the server see if there are any bugs through quests or anything so yeah I don't really want to test I'll just pretty much play once the server goes live so yep okay as you can see <laughs> the guild is level 50 now so yeah that XP though Like one master as you can see 44% that's like 407 million XP good good XP so regarding like the guild I'm planning to make on uh, PR of Thor what do you guys want to do do you want it a, like a PVM guild uh, a competitive guild that woes and PVPs or do, you want, or do you want like a casual guild let me know what you guys want because um, either way um, if my connection is good um, I might GM for uh, my guild and will probably will because GMing is something that I really haven't tried It's something I really want to try, but I'll probably end up like dual logging in <laughs> the GM account, and then switching over to like another um, another character. All right, he's over here. Come to me, dude. Oh shit! I have a height clip on. Is that mastering over there? Yep, it is. Did he blow up? He just blew up. If I get a fucking card here, where are the odds, dude? Oh, we don't have potions? We fucked up. No, we don't have strawberries, I mean. It's fucked up, boys. I kind of want to get the pearl. I'm lazy. I don't. Oh, what did I get? Evil wing, little evil wing. Fuck it, dude. Alright, let's find angel wing since that guy's up. Angel wing should be up. I need to make a hunter so I can actually kill um, GR, like I mentioned earlier. Cause that asshole. So basically, how his AI out his AI works? I kind of like googled it is once um if a gr hits you and is invisible he has a chance to teleport so the classes that actually work great against him are hunters and any class with like range um range attacks so you can do like a Assassin, SD Assassin, um, a Hunter of course like I mentioned. What else? What else has ranged attacks? You can probably do like a wizard too, but I tried using my wizard and he teleported too so I'm not sh quite sure AoE is the way to go. I guess Hunter. Hunter is the best. 
because I don't remember him teleporting like in the past. I used to hunt uh, this map uh, a lot and I don't remember him teleporting that frequently so but I was using a hunter back then so that might might have makes uh, made, made sense makes sense so yeah we'll see you guys don't know uh, hunter is actually my favorite uh, well my first class that I actually kind of mastered um, pretty much went the Aji Dex route. Also tried um, Blitz Hunter. It's okay. The problem with Blitz Hunters is um, it's really hard to like um, deal with um, tanky units, even though um, even though you Blitz a lot. So you're gonna have to rely on their sustain, like waiting for them to run out of potions, which is kind of dumb. R rather go the Agi Dex route and try to kill them, or even go like a trap, uh, trapper route. Actually, that that's actually more effective. I didn't really play a lot of traps, snipers in my day, but I actually uh, fought against a lot of them, being like a melee unit. In PvP, like a master smith, I fought a lot of trap snipers. So you guys don't know how they set up on you is either a sandman trap or they ankle snare you, and then they set up uh, landmines and stack them, and then they push it on you. So you you guys are gonna experience that a lot. Once, okay, here's GR. I don't want to fight him. I can't kill him yet. Uh, you guys are gonna fight that a lot once it gets released in PRO Thor Because there are a lot of g good sniper players Oh, and if they release ninjas Oh my god, so my top three favorite um, Classes number one master smith, of course That's my baby right there and then next is probably um, Lord Knight. If I wasn't a Master Smith, I'd probably play Lord Knight. And after that, Sniper. And then the f Sniper. Well, not really. I'm good at Sniper, but I don't really like, like playing it. Because it's like very limited. Um, I prefer... Um, Super Novice is at 3, and then 4th is Ninja. So those are pretty much the classes I play. Uh, I played a lot of, well, not a lot, but Wizard is actually a, a class I like to play too. I'm not really good at like finesse classes, like... I like classes that can, you can actually spam a lot. So that's why you see me playing a lot of melee classes like Lord Knight, um, Master Smith, Wizard, classes that spam skills constantly. And Champ, we'll see. Cause uh, if the character I'm gonna make as a GM for uh, our guild, if it gets to that, will be a monk. So let's see how our monk skills go. Come on, Angeline, drop something. I shouldn't actually be bowling bashing that. Because if he spawns this stuff, I don't have anything to kill it. In before the card drop. In before the card drop! Oh no, I kind of feel it. Is it the card? Oh, I kind of feel it. Double safety wall. 
want. Okay. Okay. Fucking white herb, dude. Not even a Yggdrasil berry. Why no Yggdrasil berry? Oh shit, I actually forgot to um, bubble gum. My bubble gum out. I don't wanna pop it. I don't wanna kill it without bubble gum. Because it's actually really bad to bubble gum against this MVP. But it's still a card either way. So I don't wanna waste my chance to like have a card drop on me. staff at least see if I didn't bubble them there it would just be like a spear he's a biochemist okay oh shit got trapped yes good 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 right. see if you can get him before I lose my slim show Just a Yggdrasil Barry. Alright, so yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. I'll um, give you guys more, a uh, couple more updates in the next few videos. I'm planning a lot of stuff, so tune into the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Please do subscribe. Um, we're gonna uh, do some more Ragnarok Online videos and then hopefully we can branch out to more Dota 2 videos because that's actually something I really want to do. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.